Arrhythmia is a general term to describe problems with the rhythm or rate of your heartbeat. The heartbeat can be too fast, too slow, or with a regular rhythm. An arrhythmia can be harmful or it may not be harmful. Some arrhythmias are what we call benign. Other arrhythmias are certainly harmful. It depends on the context or the company that it keeps. By that I mean people with heart disease who have arrhythmia are more likely to have some harm caused by the arrhythmia. Other people with normal hearts who have arrhythmia, it may just be a simple annoyance that can be treated with reassurance. There are different types of arrhythmias. It depends where the abnormal heart rhythm starts. Some heart rhythms begin in the upper chambers of the heart, which we call the atrium. The other arrhythmias start in the bottom part of the heart, which we call a ventricle. Depending on where the arrhythmia originates will depend how the cardiologist and the patient decide how to treat. The symptoms of arrhythmia may be none or may be profound. Some patients have no symptoms at all, while other patients complain significantly of palpitations, which is the most common symptom. An arrhythmia is diagnosed by taking a good history. This is the beginning. This is followed by a physical examination. Following the history and physical, if the physician feels the patient's symptoms are consistent with an arrhythmia, then further diagnostic testing is entertained. Usually it starts with an electrocardiogram and may then follow with further testing, including Holter monitoring or event monitoring. If you have an arrhythmia, it depends on the nature of the arrhythmia to determine whether or not there are certain activities, for instance, which should be eliminated. Obviously, if the person has heart disease and is short of breath or is having chest pain, this would limit the patient's activities uh, who also has an arrhythmia. There are multiple treatment options depending on the arrhythmia. Sometimes it requires only reassurance. Other options include medical therapy. We have various medications that we use to treat arrhythmia. We also have new interventional procedures, including ablation therapy, where the physician passes a catheter into the heart, finds the area where the arrhythmia is originating from, and then uses radio frequency ablation to destroy it. Further therapies include open chest surgical procedures for arrhythmia. The outcomes for arrhythmia treatment vary between 50 to 70 percent successful, depending on what is used. Medications are about 60 to 70 percent successful. Ablation therapy, depending on the arrhythmia, can be anywhere from 70 to 95 percent successful. But in most cases, the patient can return to their normal activity and a normal lifestyle. The recovery period for ablation therapy is rather quick. The patient usually leaves the hospital the next day and in a day or two can resume normal activities.